What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to make an ethernet cable. The only thing you're gonna need is the RJ45 crimping tool, RJ45 connectors, and of course a Cat6 ethernet cable like this one. You can also make Cat5 out of this cable. It comes in a box of 500 feet or 1,000 feet. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get all these items. Now what are the main differences between Cat5e, 6, 6e, 6a, and Cat7? Well, it's the speed, frequency and the price. The data transmission speed for a CAT6 is 1000 megabits a second. I pay for around 300 megabits a second. So this cable would be perfect for my home. The price is also reasonable and it reduces crosstalk, which is interference. A wired connection is always gonna be more reliable and at faster speeds and have less interference. But if you have to consider any Wi-Fi router, consider N or AC, which have great speed and frequency between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now on every CAT6 cable, there's printed text that tells you that it's CAT6 cable, the gauge of the wiring, and the feet. And after cutting the length that you want, you wanna insert the cable and cut off the outer sleeve, the jacket. So insert it, squeeze and twist, and then pull and that outer jacket should come off. And then you wanna push down on the internal wires and cut off that internal separator. It's a clear plastic piece right there, making sure that you don't cut or nick any of the internal wires. You wanna pull on them and separate the wires according to this wiring guide. We're gonna use the wiring guide T568A, that's standard for CAT6 cables. And you wanna make sure all the wires are the same length. So we're gonna trim the wires so they're all the same length when we put it in the connector. And then we're gonna grab our RJ45 connector and insert the wires, making sure the tap is side down and the pins facing away from us. And we're gonna slide the connector on, making sure the wires are going into each individual slot and we're gonna push the jacket in the connector. So when we crimp down on that connector, it's gonna bite into the outer jacket and not the internal wires. That's gonna make it more secure. And we're just gonna wiggle that in, making sure that jacket is all the way in. So when we crimp it, it's gonna bite right on that jacket. And then when you look at all four sides of the connector, making sure the wires are all the way to the very end of the RJ45 connector. And it looks like the wires are to the very end and the jacket is passed to where we're gonna crimp and all the wires are in the correct spots in the slots and looks like we're gonna go ahead and crimp it now. So we're gonna grab our crimp tool, this is the easy part, and just insert it, push in and then squeeze. Give it a good squeeze, making sure it's gonna bite into the jacket really good. And then we're gonna pull on the connector, making sure it's not gonna come off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check my connection and my speed, and it looks like I'm getting 62, 63 megabits a second download speed. Big improvement over my wireless connection. And my upload speed is 20, oh, drop down to 12 megabits a second for my upload speed. And I'm gonna disconnect my CAT6 cable and show you my wireless signal I was getting. And my wireless signal now is two megabits a second download. It looks like it's dropping one megabit a second download speed. Oh, it's horrible. My wireless connection is horrible. And mind you, my wireless router is only 30 feet away, but the kitchen is in between my office and where the router is. So some of the appliances are blocking that signal, probably the refrigerator. And my upload speed is even worse, one megabit a second. So yeah, I needed that wired connection. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on this link right here, or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other tech tutorials, click on this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching, bye.